Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm from Twin Flames Merge. Welcome to Chicago. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about the webinars that I have. Uh, they're live webinars, what I call Blue Infusion. And I thought I'd give you a little taste of how it is and what we do in it. As you may know, this year we've had quite a bit of intensity. I don't like to dwell on intensity. It's not comfortable for anyone. I'm a firm believer in how do we get through it? How do we make this easier? How do we get to everywhere where we want to go? How do we get things flowing again? How do you be in love? And most importantly, how do you be who you came here to be? So I just want to remind you, keep calm. The Blu-rays are on it. I'm a Blu-ray. So what I have here is just something to show you and give you, a look, like I say, give you an idea of how it is. Now, the webinars that I do, uh, they are, uh, I've been doing them live. This gives you the opportunity to see, hear, speak up, ask questions. On the spot, I get guidance for people and we talk about things. I talk a lot about what's coming up. And we right now there is a huge focus on the light body. Now, some of this is feeling very confusing and elusive for people. Um, so I just have a little mini presentation here to offer you, just to give you an idea of how it is. And I prepared something really short and simple here. You can see me up here in the corner. I'm going to minimize that. And this is what I'm referring to, my Blue Infusion Group Coaching and Meditation. We talk about relationship dynamics. This is for people either with their twin, interacting with their twin, or struggling with certain things masculine feminine relationship dynamics but the focus is your cosmic chakra development so from about now till mid to late april 2017 for couples together or coming together now is the time to properly conclude what needed to be finished by now this could be relationships this could be jobs this could be old ways of doing things this could be habits addictions there's going to be a big push for this, especially if you're in your union or close to getting together to reunion. Your children, children will be elevating and situating near your unions. We'll talk about your children and how they are doing this too. We'll talk about lineage illness, but mostly I teach you how to properly care for your light body. And this is going to be a time for rediscovering yourself as well as re-entering life for some people while other people go into a sense of isolation. This is also beyond the law of attraction. It is think beyond think, this is beyond think positive thoughts or the law of attraction. There's almost no mental engagement at all in the new life other than to direct your heart's creative force. How do you manifest? So you may be actually working too hard at old things. Find out what's new because you and your beloved are the ripple effect. You're able to make huge changes by moving your energies within your body and keeping your channels open. And that's part of what I teach also. Are you able to feel open? The open part means that your channels are open and ready to receive at a moment's notice and as needed to lift you up without overextending yourself. Have you or your twin been overextending your flamey energies have you or your twin are they too busy are you too busy and it doesn't just mean busyness it means how frequently are you in karmic situations without knowing proper ways to clear or position yourself what's safe for you you're maintaining the reconnection you've had by meeting each other and keeping the heart open so the very first part was people becoming aware of their twin perhaps meeting the person, 
and then they fell away from you or something fell away. The new grid is in place. It's now time to light it up with our unions. This is going to mean breakdowns, breakdowns, breakups, lots of things departing from you, your twin, and this is breakdowns between two worlds, one old and one new. Everyone, the entire universe wants to see you in love. And no matter how much clearing, transmuting, healing, and energy work you do, whether by yourself, with someone, in a group such as what I'm suggesting, individually, the rejoining of your soul is vital. It's critically necessary. There is no going on by yourself with this. In order to be new with each other and for yourself, you have to be together. You have to click everything together. We cannot properly metabolize, breathe, and receive love in order to ascend without each other. There are corresponding connection points within each other that absolutely require merging with the love in order for everything to resurrect. And I do mean this, and I've covered it in several webinars. It's time to start taking some of the serious. There are people who have incarnated here many times and also feel or have felt ancient cultures or countries that they've lived in or been connected to. And that is because the deepest preserved part of the masculine from many cycles of go, originating from deep in the current area that was once Lemuria. And as you can see, I've depicted almost the center point of the continent of Australia. And this has been waving northwest, northeast. I mean, in order to establish the footholds within, it's important that you merge, open yourself for merging, and you may have several times of interacting with your twin. You have multiple connections with each other. This is a reconnection both inside and out in a higher manner to the high heart and the new earth star. This is your reunion in real time for your true reality. And many people feel like they're walking a thin line here, walking and balancing it, balancing work, earthly life, and the mental, emotional illnesses and psyche damage that still exists and lives here. This will be something of a challenge for especially right now. You are the ones going between two realms. If you have had strange sensations, impressions, head buzzing, hearing things, where do they come from? I do have these answers in my webinar, and it's no point in giving you the answer <clears throat> if you don't also get what to do about it. So through this, you're helping yourself detach and also in the process become who you are and be compassionately detached from everything so that you are unable to continue living. This will be situations, marriages, old 3D relationships, and the last karmic residue. Thanks for watching this small presentation to give you a little idea of what you can expect. Of course, there's much more in it. Each of these have gone on for about two hours, giving everyone an opportunity to ask questions, speak up, and participate. It's been good for people to hear in a very safe context what others are going through. And yes, I am available for one-on-one -on -one Twin Flame Cosmic Heart reconnection sessions. If you don't like the idea of a group or you would like some more focus or to discuss things that are more personal, the Twin Flame Spirit Chat, which can be an introductory thing, but also for follow-ups and well, anything that you wish to discuss because if you're going through something you may just need to talk about it with neutral guidance where the guidance is coming from a higher level also dream interpretation many people aren't aware of what their dreams are actually signifying and the dreams are very important also, I do have a series of webinars on this process with valuable information about your body, both your bodies, your human body, as well as your metaphysical body parts, your subtle bodies, what's happening, what to do, and sensible guidance about it, which does include things for your family and your children. 
Find out about your light body. It's the part that is the focus this year with several retrogrades, eclipses, and many energetic portals for this year. Join us for a live webinar. The remaining days prior to the Equinox are March 9th, the 10th, the 12th, the 16th. Um, I have several times here which would enable people from different time zones to participate. The buttons are on my website at www.twinflamesmerge.com. So thanks so much for watching that mini presentation. I wanted to give you an idea of what, you know, what it's about, what you can expect, what's happening going forward. Of course, it's this big. You're sort of in the tip of the iceberg here. There's a lot more that's going to happen this year. I'm expanding it. I have several things that are almost like, they're kind of like little signposts or breadcrumbs along the way to help you. This is about the body. I'm a teacher of the new light body. I'm also a new earth guide. And this may be new to you. If it's new to you, check it out. It's very reasonable, and I feel that you will find it very helpful. I really do my best to pack in a lot of information, which is why they last for two hours. And there's a, a genuine focus upon the individual because everybody is different. This is where you're coming to a part where there really will be these final separations, and everyone has to get the guidance for their own union. So while it's it's not easy to give everyone guidance in the world because every situation is different, every twin flame couple is unique. They are a universe unto themselves. How do you guide someone who has children with someone who may not have children, with someone whose work is intended to be this and other people's work isn't intended to be that? Do you know how? You focus on getting them open so that they get the guidance that they need. That's how you do it. That's what I do. This is to help people start to feel and get where they need to be, get through the purgings, get through the clearings, help the twin, get it together, merge it together. So that's, that's it in a nutshell. I hope to see you there. I hope you can join. If not, I will be scheduling some more down the line after the Equinox. Interestingly, many of the dates that I had were exactly on the full moon or exactly on the day of the eclipse or exactly, you know, right when you need it. So pay attention because there is guidance that is coming maybe for just when you need it. So thanks so much. I hope you have a good day. And we're going to wish you to have a good day. Check out this stuff. It's on my website. I think you'll like it.